Welcome back to my channel. So for those of you who are already subscribed to me, you may well recognise this background. I am back at my university accommodation today. And for those of you who are new here, my name is Leah and I am a third year student at the University of East Anglia, otherwise known as UEA. So today is a really, really exciting video because I'm actually filming in partnership with UEA. Basically, they wanted to put together a video where current students take you around Norwich, show you some of our favourite places to go. It's going to be a really fun day. I'm also filming with my my housemate and fellow YouTuber Ellie. So I'm filming this video after lockdown has finished, things are starting to get back to normality a little bit, restaurants and activities and stuff like that are starting to open. So yeah, I'm going to be taking you around some of my favourite places, showing you what you can do in Norwich, the student life, activities you can do and all fun stuff like that. I hope you enjoy this video and let's just get off to our first location. So guys, we are now walking through Eaton Park and I'm with Ellie. We've literally just just done mini golf which was really really fun so we filmed that on Ellie's channel that was one of her locations so go and check that out if you want to see yeah <laughs> go check that out if you want to see the mini golf course and Eaton Park is perfect because it's literally right next to campus and it's really close to our house as well which is amazing so we quite often come here to walk around relax a bit we're just walking through the gardens at the moment it's and pretty. yeah it's really nice I've actually never been in these gardens before so I'll show you what else Eaton Park has offer. So they also do park run here, basically where people meet every Saturday at nine o'clock. It's free to take part in and basically you just run for five kilometers and somebody times you. So that is a really good activity to do, it gets you up and early in the morning. So we're just in front of the dome now, like if you walk down, you come by this little like lake, it's not a lake, a pond. And I just think this is a really nice area. There's little benches as well that you can sit at and just chill and have a bit of peace. Like if your lectures get a bit too much and you want a bit of a break, then maybe come here and chill. So you can also play tennis here and they've got table tennis tables which are really fun and yeah I just really like Eaton Park so I really wanted to show you guys all that it has here. We are now at a bus stop just near our house. There are bus stops on campus as well and campus is literally like right behind me. We're just across the road. So that there is some of the accommodation on campus. So if you wanna go into the city centre, you need to get the 25 or the 26 bus and that takes you right into the city centre. We normally get off at Debenhams and then you can get anywhere in the city from there. We're going to go into the city centre now and show you some of our other favourite places. So the price for a student ticket, if you say a young person's return into town then it's £3.80 for a return into town and back and you can get on and off as many times as you want if you get the bus to Debenhams and then decide you want to go to the train station then you can get the bus from there to there as well and you don't have to pay extra it's like for the whole day so that's really good it's quite a good price you do currently have to wear a mask on public transport in the UK so we've got our masks at the ready <laughs> Ellie's already got hers on <laughs> let's just go into the city so we're now in town, we got off the bus, and the bus wasn't too bad to be fair, and it was really quick. So it takes about like 20 minutes, I'd say, to get from campus to the city centre if you get off at Debenhams. It takes a bit longer if you then go to the train station. And we're just standing outside the church at the moment. We've actually never been inside, but we've walked past and it looks really pretty. Yeah, um, it's right in front of the forum. Yeah, the forum is there. Basically a massive glass building. I think it's got like the BBC something, something in yeah. <laughs> it's got some sort of bbc studios pizza in express. yeah it's got a massive pizza express it's got a library there's another little cafe there we just went into chapel field as well so go and look at ellie's video to see the outside bit of chapel field oh my god i just learned that five 
right <laughs> take two <laughs> as i was saying we just went into chapelfield and we went around a few of the shops and they have got a one-way system at the moment but it's really chilled in there it's really controlled it's a really pleasant experience and now we're just going to go look at the market so we're now just up the top of the market as you can see in the distance you can see the little castle on top of the hill we're going to go and explore that after the market and then down here you can see all of the stalls so we're going to go and have a little look around it was actually the winner of britain's best outdoor market 2019 so that's pretty cool we're now standing at the bit just above the market you can see it's behind us and the castle as well there's a lot of different like clove stalls and they also have like gifts and food and stuff like that so we'll show you around i've um, never actually properly gone into no. the market i have a couple it. of times it's actually really nice Thank you. Thank you. Oh, yummy. We just got some churros. How good do they look? Mm, yummy. Um, and there's loads of food stalls inside the market. We've just come outside and there's loads of like fresh fruit and vegetables. So it's a really, really good market. It's one of the oldest and the biggest open air markets in the UK. And there's about 200 stalls. Not all of them are open today. But yeah, it's a really nice market. Loads of people come here from all over. We're gonna enjoy our churros now. <laughs> So we're just walking down the Royal Arcade. It's like a really nice bit just in front of the market. And now we're gonna go have a look around the lanes. The lanes are one of my absolute favorite things about Norwich. I think it really makes it individual. So we're gonna go have a look at some of the individual shops down the lanes and have a bit of an explore. R.I.P. The best club in Norwich. <laughs> so that was our favourite club in Norwich, Karma. It's not open at the moment, which is why it's really sad. Proper sad. Proper sad. But hopefully it will be soon. So I wanted to show you it anyway, because once it's open again, if you're coming to UEA, you have to to go so we've just spent some time exploring the lanes but we've just come across Erpingham house as well on our way to some more of the lanes this is one of the best vegan restaurants in Norwich I think we went for our friend's birthday Agreed. and it was so good we yeah. both had a curry and it was so and like garlic dobles <laughs> I just garlic preached about these so in my good. video yeah they are so lush and it's really What's the right word? It's really aesthetically pleasing yeah. inside. It's all like Very pink. Picturesque. Yeah, nice great Instagram. for photos. Yeah. Exactly, the Instagrams. The so. Instagram guys. <laughs> really, really cute. With its historic lanes, Norwich is actually known as a city of stories. The lanes are actually one of my favourite things about Norwich. I think it makes it so unique and individual. And it's just so pretty. Like, if you want to get a nice photo, come to the lanes. <laughs> we say that everywhere. <laughs> come into the cutest little shop on Elm Hill. It's just a little craft shop. There's loads of homemade cards and candles and gifts like that. So the lanes are a really great place to come if you want to get a present for anyone. So it's now raining and this is not a look, but we've still got two more locations to film each and we don't want to get our hair wet. <laughs> We're just going to go and have lunch in one of the cute cafes down the lane. So we'll let you know where we end up for lunch. Hopefully it brightens up after lunch because we've got an activity planned, which we're really excited for. So fingers which crossed. Which isn't going to be good in the rain. No, but we're going to try and make the best of a bad situation. I feel like that's our motto by now. We always make the best of a bad situation. Or we just get absolutely soaked and look like idiots. We've come to Gonzo's, guys, because this is one of the ones like kind of near the lanes, down the lanes-ish. It's really small, but it's really, really cute in here. And it's like an individual restaurant. They do really good food. I have been here before and I've spoken about it before. So we've come here again because Ellie's not actually been here before. We've got our drinks and we're just waiting for our food. So 
guys, it's been a long time since I last filmed. Since I filmed, we have had lunch in Gonzo's, which was so nice, wasn't it? Mm, yeah. It was Ellie's first time in Gonzo's. It was so, so nice. I loved it. I'll definitely be going back. So there's been a bit of a change of plan. We were meant to be going on um, some boats, but we switched that round. We're going to do that next because, because it started it raining <laughs> a lot. We just have been to see the football club, which Ellie showed on her channel. So go and watch her video. And now we've just walked back through to Riverside. Riverside is one of my absolute favorite areas in Norwich. There's just so much that you can do here. They've got bowling, they've got a cinema, spoons. spoons. They've got the best spoons, which we're just about to walk past. The best. <laughs> this is my favorite spoons. There's yeah. three in Norwich. Any spoons is a good place to go. Yeah. But this one's got music, Not that we're hasn't basic. it? <laughs> <laughs> this one's called Queen of Iceni. So this is just a little bit up from where we were before. It's kind of just overlooking spoons on a little bridge. So there is spoons just there. And then over here is the waterfront, which I've mentioned in some previous videos. It's basically a venue. They have club nights, but they also have concerts sometimes. So one of our friends, um, her boyfriend's band has played here before. And it's just a really nice area. You can walk along past the river. And it's just really pretty. I feel like Riverside looks really nice and new. In the middle of Riverside, we have like some restaurants and things to do. So Las Iguanas is one of my favorite places to go. Cocktails. Best place for cocktails. Yeah, it's always two for one. You also have the Odeon, which is a big cinema, and you've got Hollywood Bowl, which has got an arcade in, and then you've got loads of other restaurants. So we have TGI's, Pizza Hut, Ask Italian. There's quite a few, isn't there? Yeah. I think Riverside is a really nice place to come in the evening, like with your flatmates or something. If you're just bored and looking for something to do, and obviously like yeah. the clubs aren't open at the moment, but you can still have a really good night out Again, in Norwich. Something nice that they could do, like in freshers, if you want to yeah. get to know your flat or um, bond with some cool mates or something yeah definitely and again it's right next to the train station so even if you're coming up for the day to Norwich or something mm. like that or you can even get the bus straight here from campus because yeah. as we said earlier the bus goes straight to the train station as well the number 25 and 26 and um, so it's also gravity which is a massive trampoline park I've not actually been but really I really want my to, to trampoline park <laughs> before. yeah that's a story time <laughs> So just for reference, the train station is just there and Riverside is just kind of down to the side there. So guys, the last place for me for the day that I wanted to show you was the pub and paddle. So I'm here with, <laughs> maybe I won't do that. <laughs> Ellie's at the back because apparently there's more control at the back. <laughs> so this is actually not something that we've done before and we'd never heard of it it was one that one of the girls that were working with for UEA she mentioned it so we thought what a great that it just sounds really fun. So we it's thought we'd- fun, but it's life risky. <laughs> we kind of keep on wobbling the boat a little bit, so it's a little bit scary. It's um, so chilled though. Like, yeah. The best it's actually really fun, and we're the only ones out here. It's so peaceful. So we're just kind of enjoying going down. I think that's one of the really nice things about Norwich. There's always different things that you can find to do that you didn't know there were. We didn't even know that this existed, but now we know it's here, we'll probably come again with our friends. So there's so many hidden gems in Norwich and it's just a really, really nice city. Thank you. <laughs> I'm surprised we haven't fallen in yet because the amount of times Ellie's rocked the boat. Also, we're on the River Wensum right now. If you wanted to know, that is the river that runs through Norwich. And there's also a little path um, that goes right along. Like we can see people walking down it every so often. Um, so it'd be a really nice place to go on a little walk as well. <laughs>
So guys, we're on our way back, but we've hit a bit of an issue. It's raining. <laughs> Wait, I'm under a fridge anyway. <laughs> yeah, it's raining quite a lot now. So we're gonna go I'm back. So I've got the map here for the pub and paddle. So pub and paddle is what the company's called. And um, you can see the little logo there. Can't recommend them enough. Like the guy that we had was so friendly. He was so nice, wasn't he? Yeah, I'm traumatized. We'll, we'll tell I'm you about- Traumatized. <laughs> we'll tell you about our story in a minute. But um, you get on by the Ribs of Beef pub, which is just here. So just Google that. And then down the side of Ribs of Beef, you walk down around the corner and then you'll see the paddle boats. And you basically go along the River Wentz and then you can stop at different pubs along the way. So we just went to the train station and then came back, but you can go all the way up to the Coldham Hall. We just went on for like an hour or so, but you can go on for the whole day. So guys, we've just got off the boat. It was very, um, what's the right word? Dramatic, entertaining. <laughs> I was gonna say, it was really, really fun, but. <laughs> Challenging. Eventful. eventful, that's what I was gonna say. Was it eventful? Basically, when we first got on, it was really nice weather, it was blue skies, and then about 20 minutes in, it started tipping it down, but we were already in the middle of nowhere, so we had nowhere to river. go. We might as well have been a duck. Like, we would have been... <laughs> We would have been drier if we had fallen in. Like, Probably. Oh my gosh. And then we end. <laughs> I take full Ellie. Today. Right, I'm not being funny. My hair takes priority. So Ellie was too busy fixing her hair. No, so <laughs> keeping it dry. I had the umbrella in one hand, the camera in another, and then the oar to try and row. Long so, story short, I ended up face first in a bush in a stinging elbow. And now I'm going to just duck it. And she went. We were literally like, I wish, I so wish that one of us got it on film because it was like something off You've Been Framed, but I fully just fell nearly off the boat. <laughs> we were just... We had half the stinging nettle bush in the boat with us. <laughs> we were just in absolute hysterics. I haven't belly laughed in that long. Like, I, I keep so replaying it. <laughs> I had tears in my eyes. That was my final location. Oh. It was so much fun, so I really recommend you do it. It. Maybe check the weather forecast first. Yeah. That's all I'll say. Nice summer's day where you can just chill paddle down like, yeah. and um, stop at the pubs because we didn't actually have time to stop at the pubs. No, we only were on there for about an hour. But the idea, I think I said before, is that you stop at pubs along the way. I highly recommend it. I'll link the company in the description down below as well because they were so, so good. They're so lovely as well. Yeah. Now we're off for a cheeky little cocktail to Cocktail's finish here. the day because we feel like we deserve it. We've done so many steps today. 20,000! Oh my god. I was meant to say this earlier. Norwich is actually really good because everything in the city is within walking distance. So it's not like London or Manchester or Nottingham where you have to get like trams or the tube to get to different places. You can literally walk from one side of the city centre to the other. So we've walked everywhere today. We've not got any public. know it? <laughs> yeah, once we were in the city, we haven't got any public transport. We've no. walked everywhere, even though we're really worn out. And we've done so much today. Like we've been to 10 different locations. Like both of us together so that shows you how much you None really can get done. None of the have been that expensive either. No. So this is a really good video to watch if you want some ideas of cheap or free activities to yeah. do. I've had such a good day. Yeah, same. So I'm actually going to end my video here because we're off to get a cocktail at Rooftop Garden. So go and watch the rest of Ellie's video to see what that is like. And subscribe, thanks. And subscribe. <laughs> and please subscribe to my channel as well. It would really mean the absolute world and it really helps our channels out. That we absolutely love filming these videos for you guys. So if you let us know. you know that they like helping you. Yeah, yeah. Like the amount of DMs that we get from people coming to UEA is just amazing. So if there's any videos that you want to see, please let us know because we really want to make more yeah. for you guys. And yeah, please like and subscribe and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.